And since he, he was playing an effect, but it wasn't a very fast effect deck, aggressive. So I'm going to let him start again. And here, this this could be sweet. This could be really sweet. Now we just have to keep some some lands in hand or anything, some cards in hand. Power up, power master call. It doesn't get through a wall of tangle call, which is sad, but it does so much else. Seal call again. Ah, school as well. Now we have better cards all around, but this time we don't get the lands. We have, oh well, we have some draws to do, to get to them, but pre preferably two lands in the next three draws. Okay, he's got the wall of tangle cards. And this Amansa might have to work double time and more. So far though, he can't make it block flyers. But most likely he'll get there before, before we are too much of a threat to him. And I might save the master core on hand until we've got these guys out just because he can't get through the wall and until we can get through the wall it's not so big of a big big of a deal having him. If we get a forest here we will blow the trigon straight away. No um well um Still hitting. Um, I'm debating whether or not to go spell bomb, sacrifice spell bomb, or replica. But I think that I want to hit my land. It's quite crucial that I do. So, okay, we will play the blue. Yes, we did. Okay. We could could have um, dispersed the trigon, but I don't think that's uh, any good for us. Contagion class. Now this is more interesting. Do I want to? Save my Nissanansa, and yes, I do because it's my it's one of my best ways of winning against him. And from what I've seen, that's his only removal. Okay. Unfortunately, he gets to mill us, and our turn to slag is gone, and our one sky in school is gone, and the palladium mirror is gone, but that should be fine. If I if we hit a couple of lands more, then yeah, I was going to say then we are more than set to deal with his seal car. So I'm playing this sky of school just to get to my next land and I'm um, depending on it depends on what I draw. If I draw a land, yeah, I'm, I don't need another one. I, I would like it for the pollution rains. Uh, and if I do take the pollution rains, I can. Well, actually, I can start speeding out. Um, tokens once I get to my second forest which will be some ways away but I would get to keep my 
replica. So I think that, hmm, this is quite a tough decision. He will have a 9 turn clock on us when he's used one of these. He won't attack with a sleep call, so I can block it if I want to. That's, that's true. Um, now I think that my cards are too good to not save them all. So here comes a an infect creature. Next turn, if we're allowed to know, uh, that could be a problem. Um, let's see here. Did I no, I didn't protect the left one. I'm going to. Let's see. Let's three infect on us. I'm going to. No, let's see here. What should I do? What should I block? What shouldn't I block? I don't need to block this time. I'm just going to take that. So replica, silver replica. If I play the master call, then I can dome him for four. I can block his creatures as well, just waiting for him to. I can dome him for four. Uh, once, twice, twice, three, four, five, six times, basically. Um, that might be my quickest route to victory, and I will let him hit me with his seal call as well. Because these schools will get into the red zone. Yeah. I'd expect that he didn't do anything about that because he wants to mill me and infect me and deal damage to me. Let's see if he's got anything to kill the Master Call right away. And this time I'm going to block his token. And then when it gets to my turn, I will be able to shoot his lucky goblin if need be. Yeah. So, let's see, that's 6, 7, 8 in this next turn. Yeah, we're going to block the token. A bunch of more creatures gets to my graveyard. I'm going to discard this replica because it's not going to do much of anything. And it proliferates, that's fine.
Okay. Um, yeah, grab the cup. Goodbye. Do we get ourselves a man? Yes, we do. And now we take the wall. It gives us a couple of turns of free acting, as well as devoiding him of metal craft. And right now our clock is <laughs> uh, a problem for him. He's got quite a, an annoying set of cards in his deck. Contagion Trash is good in every deck, but to get coupled with the Trigon and the Infect, uh, it's, it's hard to get past it. Next turn, I'm going to. Let's see here. No attacks. Nice. Um, but he does do that just for the sake of proliferating on his own turn. That's fine. Um, I'm going to kill his Black Sheep Goblin in upkeep and then let my Master Core die. Or should I do him? I could do him, but I think that... If I do this and then draw a land, that's better for us. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Exile a creature, whichever. Okay, so I'm not discarding. Okay. We are, however, hitting him. And let's see if he blocks this turn or if he continues to work double time. He blocks, okay. Plated Sea Strider, get in there. I might replica his Contagion class just to stop him from going really <laughs> going too hard on us. Let's see if we go for four this time. No, it's, it's not enough. So place another seal core and the token. That's fine. That's this turn. Let's see. So we'll go replica tumble magnets. And we bash. <laughs> 